Welcome to another End Times 4565 video. And what I want you to see right here, this is an image, a real and true factual image from Jupiter that we received in July of last year. We finally got the uh, photographs. And what it shows here is a tremendous anomaly on Jupiter. Uh, notice these polar storms. Uh, they were quite unexpected, and they are huge. And, ladies and gentlemen, something's happening with Jupiter. Now, I want to give you a good look at it and check it out. Notice these incredible storms on the poles. This is an anomaly that uh, doesn't make sense. Now, uh, with that being said, let's look at this. This is the magnetic anomalies on Jupiter. Notice here on this ring, you can see still, you can still see where Shoemaker-Levy uh, crashed into the planet. Also, if you will notice the bottom of the planet, uh, you see that strange anomaly on the pole, and uh, it lines up with the huge storm on the planet. And now we're going to look at this more interesting section of the video where uh, the satellite recorded sound from Jupiter. And this was one year ago, uh, and I find it most interesting in that I hear sounds that uh, we've been hearing are being recorded from the skies over the planet. So I'm not saying they're the same. I'm saying they sound the same. So something that's never been heard before, the sounds of Jupiter, you're going to hear it now. Now, everyone, I want to show you some <clears throat> video from Stereo A, and this was on the 17th of uh, May, and I want you to notice that the sun is over here, and this is Jupiter, Jupiter right here, and I'm not really sure nor is anybody else with these two 
incoming objects are, and notice they seem to block all the particles. Remember, this is Jupiter. What is this? Well, if it's something, which it seems to be, they are very big. I would say bigger than Jupiter. But the question is, this month, what happened to Jupiter? Now, we know there are some uh, anomalies on Jupiter, but we're not sure what's going on. And I'm about to show you a collision between Jupiter and this unknown object. So, if you would, watch it closely. Okay, there's Jupiter. There. You see it? It was so magnanimous that it caused a, some sort of uh, cloud behind the object. Okay. I'm not, I'm not really sure what I'm seeing here, ladies and gentlemen. But this is, this is very, very telling. And I have another video to show you. Stand by. Now, once again, this is a different uh, uh, lens. It's uh, with the blue uh, from Soho or from Stereo A. But you see here it's marked. This is Jupiter here. Okay, this is the Earth over here. So Jupiter's over here. This is Earth over here. What are these incoming objects? And what happens to Jupiter on May the 17th? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. Take a look. Now watch this next shot. Jupiter doesn't completely disappear. You'll see it trying to emerge from the other side. And so, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that Jupiter is going through some changes. And uh, not just Jupiter, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, our whole solar system is being affected by these incoming objects. Now, uh, I showed you before uh, my dream of the two tornadoes with the two X's on them, and I didn't know what that meant at the time, but now I'm absolutely convinced that that is a dream and a vision of the two incoming objects that are approaching our planet. Now, we're hearing lots of things about what's coming and what's going to happen. And uh, it, it's most interesting, the things that I hear and I follow up on. So anyway, with that being said, I just wanted to show you some of the most recent things with Jupiter. Jupiter is being affected, ladies and gentlemen. Make no mistake about it. And... What was that collision on May the 17th? And what was those two objects? Hmm. I'm sure nobody will have answers. I certainly don't. But there it is. You see it? That's the way it is. On this May day, 2017, June and July and August, ladies and gentlemen, we're winding down 90 days of some of the most interesting times, I believe, 
this planet's ever going to see. I'm not fear-mongering. I'm just telling you. And if it scares you, why don't you get your life right? If you're scared, say you're scared. And ain't no reason to be scared when you're saved. The reason why you're scared is because you ain't saved. You're not ready. You don't want to hear about a lake of fire. You, you don't believe in a lake of fire. Really? So, take a good look at this video. What do you see? It looks like the sun, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to take a good look at these images of the sun. These images show the truth. You're looking at the truth. They say, well, hell is underneath. Now, there are three levels of hell, ladies and gentlemen. Don't have time to go through that right now. But you look at that right there. Does that not look like a leg of fire? You can almost see people jumping in and out of the flames. You see it right there. That's hell. That's what it's going to be like. Is that where it is? Well, it's evidence that there is a lake of fire. So the question is, are you going to be ready? I don't like to take time to preach to you right now because this is a pole ship thing. But I'm going to tell you something. Get kind of tired of these comments. And it only shows me how much... You're fakers out there. You're trying to hide. You're trying to hide away from reality. The real reality. The truth reality. The real truth reality of heaven and hell, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus Christ is alive and he's real. And he made sacrifice offering for your sins, even when you didn't deserve it. It's called grace, mercy. There's no explanation except for his unconditional love. That's the explanation. Maybe you never witnessed or experienced unconditional love. The thing about it is, you want to talk trash about my Jesus and the gospel when you haven't even had any. You haven't tried it. Well, it's not real. How do you know it's not real? How can you say it's not real when you haven't even had any? You don't know what salvation is because you never had salvation. But Jesus is waiting for you right now. And this lake of fire on this screen right here, this lake of fire is real. I don't care where it is. That's a real lake of fire right there. Just like the gospel is real, like the Bible is real. And these end times are closing in. I'm getting kind of sick and tired of these crazy comments that don't make no sense. It doesn't matter what you say to me, I got scripture to back it up and scripture to back up your foolishness but you're only exposing yourself of your lostness you're only exposing yourself and proving my point so keep the comments coming ladies and gentlemen because as we read these comments to those who believe and watch these videos in times four, five, six, five. We're going to pray for your comments that prove that you really are lost. And I would challenge everyone that when you see a comment like that on our comment section, that you would just reply underneath, we are praying for you. Ladies and gentlemen, make no mistake about it, this is war. And we have 
the weapons of our warfare are spiritual and not carnal. So let's not let them pursue and win. We are the winners, ladies and gentlemen, kings and priests. We're training for reigning. Jesus Christ is alive and it's real and he's coming back again. And the rapture is imminent, even at the door. September the 23rd, July the 17th, August the 12th, June the 5th. You go ahead and keep picking days. Truth of the fact of the matter is, it could be September 24th or 25th. When you're not expecting it, that's when it's going to happen. And if you're not ready, you're not going. And this lake of fire becomes a reality. Good night, ladies and gentlemen.